privilege of working with your kids. It was so fun. They are crazy, wacky, loony. We've had so much fun. Did you have fun, kids? Yeah! They are so funny. It was never a dull moment. We worked on, what did we work on? Improv things. Yes, improv things. We worked on scripted improv. We worked on, you even wrote your own scene starter. They wrote their own scene starter. And one person, the two-person scene, they had to draw one, and they didn't know what they were getting, and they had to begin their scene with that statement or question that someone wrote, and the other person had to just go with it and agree and make a short scene, which we're going to show you that. We're going to show you three things. The first one, we're obviously going to do a taxi, taxi driver, where each person comes in with a personality quirk or trait. None of them know. Each of them are going to draw one, and they're gonna, it's just random. So they're going to act on that. The taxi driver is going to act, the passengers are going to act like the new passenger and they keep rotating. So there's always going to be a new personality trait or quirk, okay, and you're going to see that. They're going to figure that out. They don't know what that is. The second thing that we're going to show you is the sound machine. And the last thing is a two-person scene, which they draw, again, and it's a scene starter. They, one person says it and they have to create a really short scene, about 10 to 20 seconds long. Okay? So thank you for coming. Are you all ready? Yes. You guys ready? Yes! Okay. Remember what we talked about. Start thinking of ideas, how you want to build your character, what you want to say, your actions. Now parents, this is a scary thing for kids because one of the things we've discussed, as I'm telling your parents, think, think about your personality, um, your character. As we talk to the kids, it's really scary for them to come up on stage because the first day, they didn't know each other. You know, the first thing, what they do is naturally when you're on stage, you start to judge yourself. You start to think that, oh gosh, that's stupid. I don't want to say this. I don't want to do this. I'm going to look foolish. I can't say that. I don't want to say And you just get this block in your mind. So after about a day or two, really the, the next day, they started getting more, much more creative. And one of the things that we do in the group is that we learn to trust each other. We're not putting each other down. We're helping each other. There's no wrong thing to do in theater, okay? You just make a choice, and then you keep building, and you learn how to be comfortable. Bless you. You learn how to be comfortable and build on that. And they start to collaborate and give each other ideas. And so they learn to build this trust, bless you, to be, encourage each other, okay? So that's one of the things in my class. I don't, we, what are the rules in improv, the very first one? Always agree. Always agree, right, with your scene partner. You don't want to say when your scene partner starts a scene, like, hey, where have you been? I, don't talk to me, or I don't know. You, you've got to agree. Well, you agree with the scene. You start adding to it. Well, I just went to the store. I just came back, and, you know, I just wanted to see you, whatever. But they're learning to agree because it's very scary. The, the very beginning, they were like this. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> so it's scary. So I commend them. They did a great job. They're very brave to come up here and show you. So, with that note, everyone ready? Yes! Yes! Switch! Very good! Call out taxi! Taxi! Where do you want to go? I would like to go to the bank. Wait, do you hear that? Hear what? No.